guys, it's Daisy Styles. Today I'm going to show you some of the things that you will need for crafting tag for Shalek. So, of course, these are not things you absolutely do need, but these are things I recommend getting if you're seriously into uh, making Shalek tag. So, yeah, hope you enjoy! First of all, for the materials. One of the materials you'll need is leather or fake leather. I am using fake leather because that's what I find um, works best. I actually have a bunch of real leather, but one, it's too thick, and two, it actually breaks very easily. So I find fake leather works best for me. One thing that's great about using fake leather is that you most likely have it in your house. Now you can just ask your parents or like your sister or something if they have like a purse or a suitcase. Hi use this suitcase and my parents actually got their cotton reef from this so I just use this and I cut out leather as you can see I used a bunch here so yeah so I failed to mention that of course the suitcase or whatever has to be old and you can't just take something from someone else so yeah good job Josephina uh, you could just search around in your house for purses or anything and uh, if you can't find any you might be able to find it in stores, but of course you can go to felt, which is easier to work with, I guess, but it doesn't give as good as a result. Second thing you'll need for materials is glue. So before I started using this glue, I actually uh, used hot glue. So if you're like maybe a beginner, maybe you can use hot glue for sure. But I just found it, it didn't it kind of clumped a lot and it dried very quick. So for itty bitty delicate things, it doesn't really work out. I use this brand, I think it works really nice. It is the Scotch um, Super Strong. I find it works really nice. It's actually quite expensive, <laughs> but I find this works the best. Basically any mild super glue works really well for attack making. Another material that is kind of optional is uh, fabric glue. This isn't 100% necessary, you can also use just your glue, but it's uh, way cheaper than the super glue and it dries clear. It works really well with blankets, so if you're making a blanket, I would recommend having this, but it's not essential. Third thing you can consider buying is a tracing wheel. Now I actually just got this and I've been making tech for a long while. So it's definitely not essential if you're just a beginner, but I think it's gonna make my tag look really nice. Now this is basically just a spiky wheel that you just run over your leather and it just makes a nice uh, row of holes so it looks like it has been sewn. Another thing that is almost essential with tag making is wire. Now you want to get a pretty good quality wire. I would recommend one that is thin but it's still bendable and it really holds its shape. You can see like the size comparison to my uh, palm. I really recommend getting a thin but strong wire instead of like a thicker one. Another thing I recommend you buying if you're going to make tack is these little clips. These are just really small little clips that can open and shut. They are just really great for lead ropes and uh, stuff like that. So that was all the basic materials, now into the tool. First, you will definitely need a strong pair of scissors. Just make sure they're for fabric so your straps come out uh, nice and smooth. Next thing I would really recommend, and it's almost essential, is uh, pliers. Now, I mostly use uh, needle nose pliers and uh, flat nose pliers, I believe these are called. So these are great for making jump rings and buckles. These are great for just other things, so yeah, I would really recommend getting that if you can. And if you're getting that, you should probably get some wire cutters so you don't ruin your scissors like I did. So yeah, those are pretty much the basic things I used for crafting, and all of these things can usually be found in craft stores. And I just want to say a disclaimer that you don't need a bunch of stuff. These are only the things that if you're really interested in making tack, but you can honestly make tack from just some fabric and hot glue and maybe a little bit of cardboard. These are only for if you are really interested. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye! I just realized I talked like a bunch and it didn't record.